everybody welcome back to another episode of garage time tv here i am marshall and today we are jumping into the garage we're actually not working on one specific project but we're gonna have to actually move the x and the bus which i think is off camera but the x and the bus are still in the garage and we're gonna have to move them out so this week i really didn't think i was gonna be able to get you guys a video because we had that really hard freeze and the arctic blast came through and wreaked havoc on all sorts of stuff so i didn't think i was gonna be able to get you a video but we are so the plan is we've got to move these cars out and stuff off the shelves and rearrange some things because boy do we need room for this project because you want to stay tuned because i will announce what the project is because next week's video we're actually going to start working on it but you got to stay tuned to the end to know what it is so first things first is i've got to move a lot of stuff out of the way because that new project is actually right behind you i'm gonna have to move that out of the way along with some other stuff to pull these out um, this project is going to be a complete teardown all the way down to the frame yes this car does have a frame that has one clue for you but we will have to tear it all the way down to the frame to work on it so we're going to pull all this out the shelves are full of bus parts and x19 parts we're gonna have to container all those into some tubs and things like that and get them off the shelf because we need those shelf space for all of the parts of this car that we're going to be working on uh, we're probably going to move some cabinets around. I mean, this is a big undertaking. We're going to need all the space we can get. We're also grabbing a, another motorcycle um, that we've got to try and fit in here. So there's a lot to move around, a lot to make space for. So let me set you guys up, and we're going to start working on getting this stuff out and cleaned up. Well, that was mildly stressful trying to get by this other vehicle because it is a little bit on the large side there's another clue for you but both cars the x and the bus were able to get by that vehicle this mysterious project but the next thing is we've got to start attacking all of this there's a lot of stuff in here the fan can probably get moved somewhere else the portable air conditioner we definitely don't need it this time of year so that could probably go in the house honestly this is going to get moved somewhere else. I'm going to have to figure it out. We've got the X19 engine. I'd really like to get that moved down onto like a dolly again so I can free up this engine stand. That'd be really nice. I do have another one, but I'd like to break it down and get it out of the way. This is definitely going to have to stay in here. We're going to be using this quite a bit. But most importantly, we need all this shelf space back. You know, some of these woodworking tools and stuff I don't need immediately. I can put out somewhere else. I would also like to move this cabinet to just kind of collect stuff. It's got mostly like car cleaning stuff, yard stuff, things like that. Try and get this moved over, possibly over here. Not sure, because that's a really big undertaking. I've got a furniture dolly that I can move that with over here up onto this kind of little ledge. But I don't really want to move the parts washer um, because we're definitely going to be using this with that project that we've got. And this little kind of cabinet here just kind of catches stuff. Um, so maybe we can move that out somewhere else also, maybe figure out something over here. I don't know. We're supposed to be getting a, a big freezer here to replace a little one. So I don't know if that's going to work there, especially with the shelving and stuff. So, um, we're going to start really moving some stuff around, but first things first, let's get some of the really big, obvious stuff out of our way, move this all out of the way of the shelf. And then we can start freeing up some space like these extra wheels, you know, we'll put these out, um, or out of here and start moving some stuff around because with the frame off, with this restoration that we're gonna do, we're gonna need all the shelf space we can get and it's gonna get taken up pretty quick. So I definitely want to take advantage of that. But uh, I'm gonna set you guys up and start time-lapsing some of this. It's really just a lot of moving stuff. I mean, some of this has to go back out to the shed, like a power washer that needs to get put back up. You know, we gotta find a home for our propane heater. All sorts of stuff, the jack stands, the jack. It's just a lot. So I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna start knocking this stuff out, put some tunes on and start jamming out, cleaning stuff up. Cause the other thing we've got to fit in here is another motorcycle. So that's gonna be part of the challenge uh, as well. So it's much bigger than the one my wife has, which is behind this massive board. That also needs to get out of here, but we'll do one thing at a time. You know? So anyway, let me set you guys up and we'll start knocking out sections at a time as my ADD bounces me all over the place.
So we've had a few late additions and changes already to the garage. You see, um, you know, being a guy, my wife tells me things and I don't remember them. And then so she reminds me again. And again, I don't remember them until it finally happens and I act surprised like she didn't tell me, but I know that she did. And uh, we um, added this huge freezer to the garage, which took up space of mine. You can tell how happy I am about that. But here it sits. So we made some room. The small chest that we used to just have some cleaning supplies in and stuff is probably gonna have to go because now it's gonna sit here. That's its new home. And that freezer that I sometimes use as a holding storage shelf is now going to go to a good friend of mine. And the parts washer I think is gonna take its place over there. Kind of works out because there's still an outlet there to plug it in when we're using the pump for it. And we can actually add a ball valve to it to drain it out. Um, you know, environmentally friendly manners only. But we'll be able to drain it out. Much easier access to the door rather than all the way across the garage. So then this will become a big space. And we've got some of our tables and stuff. You know, some other stuff like each of the wheels off of the X, we've got to get those moved. I'm probably gonna have these uh, underneath there or somewhere else um, covered up just for the meantime, try and get them out of here. And we still have some of our big bulky stuff that we still gotta find a home for. But slow and steady, making some progress. But this is a big addition I was not expecting, even though I should have. So we're moving stuff around. Um, you know, really trying to make room for this new project. Um, it is dark outside, so I won't be able to show you today. I'll probably end up showing you tomorrow. But I want to spend a good amount of time really getting this stuff put away, keeping y'all in the loop, what's going on, showing you what's happening. You know, we clear up all this space already, um, and we're already filling it with stuff. We're doing good. So I think we've got it basically figured out for the most part. Again, that freezer is kind of throwing us for a loop. But what we've done is we've cleared up the shelves. So we've got some space there. Able to clear up a little bit of space down here for some future stuff. Still got a little bit of stuff got to figure out here and there, but we were able to put the welding cart up here. So we get it up out of the way with the jacks and the jack stands. Um, we still got to clear off the bench, just miscellaneous hardware, some random stuff still left to get done on the bus. We got our parts washer over here and all of our cleaning materials inside the cabinet next to it. We actually had these uh, kind of foam pads given to us by my in-laws. They're moving and they didn't have space for it in any place. So we took those, which is great, right in front of the parts washer. So it's been nice and comfortable as we're sitting there scrubbing ourselves to death. And that thing, also kind of nice because it's close to the door, we can easily drain that. So that's all nice. A lot of stuff is still kind of in the same place but it's nice to kind of open up some space. This fan is still really, really in the way, but I think we're just gonna have to kind of work around it, move it out, in, out, in, out. But uh, you know, when we get the project in here, we've got this huge amount of space. Now this project is gonna take up basically this whole space. Um, this is a standard two and a half car garage from the door to right about where the front of the freezer is just about 17 feet. This was a typical 20, foot garage I want to say so right about there and this extra half is where the man door is so we've really got just this much space but even though it's late 
you know, it is getting late trying to wrap up here, but I do want to show you guys this project to make sure and get to this video for you so you guys can kind of get excited for it for next week when we start really digging into it. So let me see if I can push this thing in here. It is super heavy, but it's dark. So I'll roll it in and then uh, y'all tell me what you think. A few moments later. All right, I'm gonna have to give you a rain check on that till tomorrow. That thing is so heavy. I definitely cannot uh, do the rolly thingy in here. Tonight, it's really dark, it's really heavy. I'm gonna have to go get some uh, of those wheel casters where it's like four wheels and a little thingy for the tires to sit in. Um, Cause there's no way, absolutely no way I'm gonna get that thing rolling. I'm gonna have to realign it and all that stuff before I can get it in here and show you guys. So it's gonna be like a second for you, but it's gonna be like 24 hours for me. So uh, with the magic of video editing, you guys get to see it here in just a second. The next day. Well, just like that, the magic of video editing, it is the next day. And for some reason it is significantly warmer. I guess that's part of what happens when you live in Texas, but we are now ready to push in the new project. It's gonna take me a second because I'm, you know, not very, you know, muscular to push this thing in. So it's gonna take some momentum. So give me a second here and we're gonna push this in. So last minute guesses, because here we go. We're getting there. This thing is freaking heavy. Any guesses yet? I'm sure a lot of you have probably already figured it out. It's crazy how like a inch and a half lip really slows you down. Almost there. Now this thing is really heavy, but we got it in. So big news is finally revealed. What we have is a 1952 GMC C3100. It's the same truck that Chevy had that was a C3100. Uh, this is what was called like the advanced design uh, from GM uh, when GMC was incorporated. And this is from 47 to about 54, 55. They had this body style, big bubble hood, um, the single cab, long bed, um, pretty popular design, still really popular today. Um, but we happen to go pick this one up and uh, this is going to be the new project for the channel. This is definitely the biggest undertaking I've had on the channel so far. And honestly, I, I don't know how this is gonna go, but this is all about challenging yourself and saving cars and making sure they stay on the road. So this is our next big project. I'm not really gonna do a walk around right now. That's gonna be next video. So you guys are going to have to make sure you are subscribed uh, and make sure you guys like the video, hit that notification bell. Now you guys know when more content comes on this truck here. Again, 1952. Uh, this is also the oldest car I worked on up until recently. That was the 68850 was our oldest car. Now we are, here we are in the 50s, a whole different monster. Um, again, I'm gonna do a big walk around next video. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that and check that out. But I think this is gonna be the end of the episode. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I really didn't think I was gonna get you guys a video this week. Um, I'm really glad I did. The cold weather that came through really put a damper on things. We were able to squeeze this out just in time and get you guys some content this week. I know it's not a whole lot um, car related, but getting the garage reorganized, everything cleaned up, even unexpected freezers that show up in your garage, but it's all cleaned up and the new project is here. Again, huge, huge undertaking. We're gonna be doing a complete tear down all the way down to the frame. Body panels are gonna come off, interior, paint, body, brake, suspension, you name it, it's gonna to happen to this thing. And this is gonna be a long-term project on the channel um, going forward. So the good thing is there's a lot of aftermarket support on this too, which makes running this project uh, much easier. So. With that, it's gonna be the end of the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing really, really helps the channel, so please make sure you do that. Only about 25% of the people that watch the channel are subscribed, so those 75% of you that are not, hit that red button. It's literally free, helps me out, and then you know when new stuff comes out. That way you guys stay up to date with this awesome new project on the channel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and until next time, we'll see you.